Good evening. Welcome to the Daily Office, and thanks for joining me. This is Night Prayer for Saturday, March 28th. It's the fifth week in Lent and the scripture for this service. Psalm 137 and Romans chapter 11, verse 25 to 36. Please join me in singing the final verse of Psalm 95. Forty years I endured that generation. I said they are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Our help is in the name of God Most High, the Maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. together. O merciful God, we have sinned through our own fault, in our thoughts and words and deeds, and in what we have failed to do. We have not loved you with our whole hearts. We have not loved our neighbor as ourselves. We beseech you overlook our faults and cast our sins behind your back, that we may serve you and praise you all the days of our lives. Amen. And may Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. By the rivers of Babylon we sat down, and there we wept as we remembered Zion. Psalm 137. Please recite it together with me. By the rivers of Babylon we sat down, and there we, remember, we wept as we remembered Zion, and we hung our harps upon the willows there. For it was there that our captors told us to sing a song, they that oppressed us required of us joy, saying, Sing us one of the songs of Zion. How can we sing God's songs in a strange land? If I should forget you, O Jerusalem, let my right hand wither. If I do not remember you, let my tongue cleave to the roof of my mouth. If I do not prefer Jerusalem over all my joys. Remember, O God, the children of Edom, in the day of Jerusalem, who said, Tear it down, tear it down to its foundations. O daughter of Babylon, who are to be destroyed, happy are they that reward you as you deserve. Happy are they that take and dash your little ones against the stones. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. By the rivers of Babylon we sat down, and there we wept as we remembered Zion. A lesson from Paul's letter to the Romans, chapter 11, beginning at verse 25. So that you may not claim to be wiser than you are, brothers and sisters, I want you to understand this mystery. A hardening has come upon part of Israel until the full number of the Gentiles has come in. And so all Israel will be saved. As it is written, out of Zion will come the Deliverer. He will banish ungodliness from Jacob. And this is my covenant with them when I take away their sins. As regards the gospel, they are enemies of God for your sake. But as regards election, they are beloved for the sake of their ancestors, for the gifts and for the calling of God are irrevocable. Just as you were once disobedient to God, but now have received mercy because of their disobedience, so they have now been disobedient in order that by the mercy shown to you, they too may now receive mercy. For God has imprisoned all in disobedience, so that he may be merciful to all. 
Oh, the depth of the riches and the wisdom and knowledge of God! How unsearchable are his judgments, and how inscrutable his ways! For who has known the mind of the Lord? Or who has been his counselor? Or who has given a gift to him to receive a gift in return? For from him and through him and to him are all things. To him be glory forever. Here ends the lesson. Into your hands I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O God of truth. Keep us as the apple of your eye, and hide us under the shadow of your wings. Together. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. O oh God, we are desolate apart from you, for it is only in you that we find our joy. Make haste to visit us and bring your dominion to all the world and its peoples. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. O oh, tender God, you have seduced me, and I was seduced. And may the Almighty and merciful God, the source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us now and forever. Amen.